Let me, okay, now. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're here with Nick Figuerello today. He's uh, being interviewed for the position of uh, Will County Executive. And I, my first question to him is, uh, could you, Nick, just tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Well, <clears throat> I've been a lifelong resident of Will County, born and raised here on the east side of Joliet. Uh, currently, I live in Manhattan Township. I have a wife that I've been married to for 22 years, two children, some grandchildren. Uh, I have uh, worked most of my life uh, in law enforcement. I've worked for the Will County Sheriff's Department almost 32 years, where I rose through the ranks to become Deputy Chief of Special Operations and Investigations before retiring. I then moved uh, career paths and became involved in municipal law enforcement a few years later and was offered a job at the City of Braidwood. While at the City of Braidwood, uh, I was advised uh, by the mayor that they had a high crime rate and a high drug problem. And that was one reason why he offered the job to me. During my time at Braidwood, I uh, increased drug arrests 116%, which ultimately reduced uh, the uh, reduced the amount of drug overdoses and drug activity in Braidwood, and also decreased burglaries 54% and thefts 38%. Braidwood went from a realtor dot com average home listing price of 125000 at the beginning of my tenure there and uh, after four years we were able to raise that cost for home value up to 205000 I uh, have a bachelor's degree in criminal justice and was enrolled uh, at Governor State for my master's degree in political science. I have uh, previously worked at uh, Caterpillar and also Johns Manville while I was uh, going to college uh, in my earlier years. I uh, have attended the FBI Academy, uh, which is a very prestigious academy located in Bonico, Virginia, uh, and specialized in leadership and management. I would like to uh, also uh, share some things with the audience that I'm, I'm a loyal Moose member, I also belong to Lions Club, and uh, I'm a member of the First Church of God. I was born and raised Catholic, but now I attend the First Church of God on Laraway Road. Uh, I have uh, a need and a desire to manage and lead Will County and provide a new direction for the county and also provide a balance in government for the county. What do you see as your duties and responsibilities as a county executive? Well, I believe that uh, the county executive must make sure that every department, whether it falls directly under the county executive or whether it falls under another elected official, needs to have the ability to adequately staff man and have everything they need to run their department adequately, such as uh, the sheriff's department or land use or, or uh, the Department of Transportation slash highway department. Every department needs to have the necessary means to do their job and to provide the proper services for the entire county. Uh, we have to uh, make sure that there is a adequate amount of uh, equipment, supplies, manpower, without uh, causing undue strain on the taxpayer. Okay, Nick, and then are you going to have the ability to work with the Democrats and the Republicans together as county executive? Well, of course. 
good government is is good government no matter what side of the aisle or what side of the political spectrum you're on good government's good government you have to be willing to obviously make compromises but if it's a good idea presented by the Democrats or by the Republicans, we should all be able to move forward to enact uh, whatever legislation we need to maintain good government in Will County. All right, Nick, so you talk about bringing manufacturing jobs back to Will County. Uh, why do you think that's possible? Well, Will County is recognized as the transportation hub of the United States of America. We have an assortment of shipping and asset shipping here in Will County that is available. We have four major highways. We have a developed railroad system. We have shipping such as shipping through waterway. We have nine pipelines that run through Will County. We have access to two regional airports, all within less than 50 miles. And we, we have the largest inland port in the United States. This, along with the proper leadership and the use of all these assets, could provide a direction to make Will County the strongest economic powerhouse in Illinois. Utilizing these assets, we could attract manufacturing, which will provide good jobs, and which will broaden our tax base. All right, thank you, Nick. Okay, as Will County Executive, what would be your goals if elected? Well, first, I would commission an independent audit to review any county departments and look for any duplicate functions so that they can be eliminated and also streamline all services for Will County. I will encourage controlled economic growth using incentives such as TIF districts, free trade zones and enterprise zones and also require associated infrastructure updates and improvements which will make Will County recession proof well into the future. And finally, I bring 40 years of public experience in public service and I will use that experience to make the best use of your tax dollars. Thank you.